All right, guys. We're gonna talk about the balance changes for version 1.12 today, which is at the Arcane Odyssey forum, and I'll post a link in the description for you guys if you wanna check it out. Right? There's so many changes. Also, it's like super important to like know that like the balance changes they're still being changed. No pun intended, but like. So, the nerf might not actually be that bad, or the buffs might not actually be that good, right? Um, <laughs> so, um, let's get into it. Let me, I have it open right now, but here's a Google Doc for it. Oh my goodness, right now there's people viewing it already. Yeah, but this is super important, so we're gonna talk about it. Anyways, <clears throat> Important notes. I actually didn't read this. I don't know. Uh oh. Somebody's editing it. Uh oh. I hope I hope nothing is being edited as we're reading it. But yeah, it does say not everything is final and can be changed. It. So it's important that we know that. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, add your name to any changes that I make. Oh. I mean, it's probably something of rules about editing. I, I, my brain is shut off right now, but let's just read. Red means a nerf, orange means neutral, green means a buff. Okay, I'm colorblind, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, it doesn't really help me, so. Vitality, tank route. Vitality stat, remove the ability to invest on non vitality build. Oh. I mean, okay, so I guess we're getting, okay, it does say refund if you aren't a vitality build. If you accidentally put one vitality, you aren't screwed entirely. Oh, all right, well, for the savvy and homies out there, you're good. Well, if you accidentally put into vitality, but if you put into other stance, though, <laughs> but yeah, um, can be abusive with full builds to obtain a better vitality hybrid. Yeah, fair enough. You get more HP. As like a different like build. Like if you're a conjurer, you can have more health if you put into vitality and stuff. So yeah, something like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then magic zone around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We don't have any changes to ash, crystal, earth, fire yet. So. I mean, this post has been up for, let's see, how many days? It has been up for, well, it changed it already. I think it has been like up for a few days, maybe. But I think it just updated already. But let's see. You guys could always check up on this since I left it in the description, right? To check out on the update, see if anything else changes, right? For now, we're just reading whatever's up right now because I feel like it's important to discuss if we're gonna play the game. Oh, fire has its size increased. It. Yeah, fire was really bad. Like, its size is like half of explosion, no matter what it feels like. <laughs> Which is kind of bad. Um, but yeah, explosion got some speed increase, so <laughs> imagine. Like, it got bigger size increase instead. But it's just speed. Eh, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> But explosion basically got a buff. Or I mean not uh, buff. Why am I saying debuff? My bad. I mean, like I, I thought like the explosion side should have been downgraded. My bad. I was reading the 0 0.95 and then like it went to the arrow. But yeah. Anyways, they got nerfed by 0 0.05 <laughs> points of speed for explosion. So it's a little bit slower. Which, I think in the long term, it would be like a lot, but for now, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, but basically fire got buff, explosion got nerfed a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot, but yeah. And glass rubble should be bigger and more spread out to make it cover more area. So, I guess that's technically a buff for glass, because you can cover more area. Also, this video might be a little bit longer as well. This list is huge right now. Um, I can like scroll all the way down and see like, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah. Ice got increased size, a little bit buff, not bad. You know, 0.05 again, and light got changed. I think 
well, you get blinded more. Uh oh. <laughs> Intensive meal? Where you at? Do stacking damage plus 2.5 to blind targets and it's cap at 10%. So I guess beam user with like, what, 5 beams or something? Or something like, you know, multiple hits. This could be really good, right? I'm not sure how long the stack lasts though, you know? So, the bonus damage for light might be either 10% or 5% it seems, it seems like, right? Not sure. Um, I'm not really reading it carefully, which I probably should, right? But basically, light is getting buffed, so that's good to know at least. We could probably play more light later. And lightning got a buff in damage, uh oh. <laughs> The reason for the buff is because it's arguably worse win. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. Fair enough, fair enough. In a way, yeah. Magma damage got nerfed by 0 0.025. Uh, um, okay, I mean, it's not much. But yeah, probably will get nerfed. Oh, Metal didn't get nerfed yet? I think, oh. I mean, it's pretty controversial. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Same with Plasma. Wait, not same with Plasma. Plasma hasn't been nerfed or buffed yet. Poison is planning to get buffed. Yeah, there's a lot of magic that's like not said anything yet. Like, it's not confirmed, confirmed. But it's just good to know. <laughs> so, yeah, but Shade Magic? Oh, man, what's going on here? Spear and Trident damage is negative 15 now. Oh. So I mean I guess I guess it's definitely getting nerfed. So that's rip, I guess. <laughs> I mean fair enough, fair enough. Uh and then X slash shape magic is it will be negative twenty percent damage. So it got a buff. So not bad. I don't use it personally because well, it seems lame. Cause like negative thirty percent is kinda a lot, but whatever. And size got nerfed it to giving you 15% instead of 25. So, oh, that's rip. So we get less size now, but, um, oh well. But it says, this, okay, the description says this would affect any shape with a size up side slash downside. I don't know what that means, but, <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it's important. That at least is still affect like the size affects weapon enchant. Wait for si shape magic, but for weapon shape magic is not for weapon. Um, yeah, I don't know. Reading it confused me a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, whatever it means, you know. Anyways, and then the next, make it speed shape, speed shapes, who wrote speed shape, what is speed shape? Oh, the one that gives you speed, like for your projectile, I guess. And it will affect explosion startup? Interesting. I guess that's like the impact, and like when the projectile explodes, it will happen faster if you have more speed. That's pretty good if you just planning to like just go, go with like a max size magic or something um i mean it works it works okay blast hasn't been changed yet but there's so many balancing in 1.12 right so i've nothing is confirmed so that's gonna uh, i feel like this might take a while honestly the balancing it's gonna take a while but explosions style self Amount 2 plus reduce the size of the attack. Oh, okay, fair enough. And then style placed it. Oh, style pa placed it will be like, cause all of the explosion happens in like a single spot. So that's like a problem apparently. I read it like before, but I'm shortening it. But basically all the explosion, if you place them down, it will only explode at one place. You know, so you can't move until they're all casted. So, with the rework, you're supposed to be able to place one explosion each while you're moving your mouse to, you know, place them on different area like 
You know, like that. That's how it sounds like, at least. <laughs> Just me slapping the table. Yes, more visuals, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's how I think it's gonna work, but. Yeah. I mean, probably it will be more fun. Who knows? But Leap Beam and Snare hasn't been changed yet, so. I guess we'll, we'll have to check up on it in like maybe a couple of days. <laughs> Who knows? But we'll see. Um. Aura got changed a lot it seems like Let me scroll down Oh my god Oh shit bro Holy shit <laughs> But anyways Awakening now drains at the same rate Of Awakening's passive regen Like it will drain your energy As fast as it regens <laughs> Well like Yeah it will be basically Draining your energy instead of gaining energy <laughs> Cause you're supposed to get energy after you awaken It just recharges over time But Huh I mean that's fair It's a little bit more balanced right And you're able to cancel at any time So Fair enough Oh that's kinda bad Cause if you wanna activate again Right you're gonna have to do the casting animation again So Using the aura you have to be careful with that Yeah yeah and then the power aura got nerfed <laughs> by 5%. It went down, so indirectly it will nerf also <clears throat> nerf metal, right? Yeah, I mean and it fixes bugs too, right? No. Okay, no, that's the second line. Should use the same formula as every other or oh interesting. I guess that's like a some bug issue with the coding and stuff so it's not really important but basically I got nerf damage so let's move on and then resistant resistant is a little bit odd like for me because I don't really use it but it's nerfed from 25% potency I don't know what that means to 15% potency and I guess that's like resistant to certain magic Right, you apply your magic onto yourself to, you know, reduce damage from like certain elements, depending on what you have, right? Because the elements clash and stuff. When they hit each other, they're supposed to have an effect. So, yeah, I don't know. Resistance is a little bit too complicated because I don't know the clash, right? The clashing for a lot of elements and stuff. But basically, you take more damage now. <laughs> That's what I see from it and speed or potency went from 50 percent to 40 percent so that's a nerf probably um yeah i mean like there's a lot of wordings that like i don't really understand because well <clears throat> i don't really know the game that deeply like the math and stuff <laughs> or the formula they call it for this game but basically it will make light nerf it will ner nerf life what life light and it will buff metal <laughs> a little bit like the speed of course i assume when they say speed it's like the casting speed because like there's the agility speed or there's the attack speed i assume this is for attack speed so yeah i don't know it's not really explained well for like no brainer like me. So that's why I assume for now. And bursting ore is removed because it'll be like counter to close range build in the future, it seems like. Interesting. And rename the current destruction ore to bursting ore to prevent confusion. Exactly! I thought bursting ore was like, you know, the size increase instead of like. You know AOE damage or like that was so confusing for like my magic size uh, build of course because like bursting enchant gives you side magic size and the bursting aura didn't give you magic size so I was like what it was crazy but anyways oh here comes pulsar baby pulsar impact damage no longer scales with pulse rate so um yeah I mean okay fair enough the impact damage for 0.5 pulse rate is now shared between all pulse rate. 
So it means if you do like 150, you'll do 75 now. <laughs> Basically, it will do half because 0.5 post rate was like the norms, right? So now, if you're used to using 0.5, right, it will be like 75 now. So it got nerfed to the ground basically and post size got decreased by 50% Ugh. so I guess if we had like 100% right it would be 50% now so you would have to put more magic size to make it like bigger so now like since the size decreased it I think we'll lose like 2 hit right because you can hit more if the pulse rate or, I mean the pulse the pulse star itself is bigger so we'll like lose a lot of damage just from like these two debuff already and oh star up time increase and end lag increase so in total you get like a 40% increase of lag so you can get punished easier now Ooh. oh man that sucks but alright cooldown got increased I mean it, it's basically getting nerfed to the ground like there's no buff to it at all but this could change. You never know. You never know. But yeah, a lot of mage nerfs going on, you know, with aura and so. Here comes the strength round. Oh, where are the weapons? I think the weapons down along the line. <laughs> Anyways, um, wow, there's a lot of style changes. I'm not sure if I'll be able to read all of them, so I probably won't. Cause I don't want to make the video one hour, right? Um, that'll be crazy. But yeah, there's some cannon fist buff. It seems like throw AOE and base damage increase. Uh huh. And throw damage is negative five percent. So you get a little bit debuff, but technically throw damage is decreased, but the base damage got increased. So technically it's a buff, even though the throw damage got nerfed a little bit. Yeah, and grape shot spread got reduced by 10%. So I think that's good. So it means the shotgun is more closely focused into one area, right? Because if you have more spread, right, that means your shot is obviously more spread out. So yeah, I mean, basically buff for cannon fist and then thermal fist. Yeah, you're getting buff, no heat loss during skills. Yes, sir. Heat drain is half while charging. Grace period reduced. Oh, is that a debuff? Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but basically, you get changes. You get buffs to the heat gains, basically. Um, and for Sailor Fist, it has some size decrease from like the embodiments. So I guess that's like the auras, but for like you know strength, right? So let's see. Um, shark, dragon, and wolf embodiments is like the same as weapon enchants, like the buff. Uh huh. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I don't use it honestly, but let me know any strength user watching. Let me know. I guess how you feel. <laughs> cause like I never used any embodiments, cause I've been mostly warlock, right? So yeah. Um, but Snake Embodiment is negative. Wow, what is that color, man? Um, negative ten percent damage to twenty five percent size. Um, <laughs> oh, it got changed it to size instead of damage. Interesting. What? Okay, that's a little bit weird. I'm not as like the negative twenty five percent, but let's see. I don't know, because I'm not familiar with embodiment. You guys might have to figure out <laughs> on your own for that. Um, but basically some nerf for the embodiments. And crash got a buff. Like the move crash for a strength user. It will make it makes you dash and like do like a AoE after you land. But you get more damage resistant when you land your hit, basically. And increase direct impact hitbox. So a buff. More AoE basically and damage resistant. Smash got reduced and lag. Let's go. Time to spam smash. <laughs> Increase rush down. Smash is just like a direct AoE. Like that slams you down into the ground. So 
Rush down is a uh, dash move that combos the enemy, you know. It has more hitbox so you can land it easier because it's, it's like gun. It, it rush down was like gun users. You have to pinpoint accuracy. You cannot miss. <laughs> so it was really bad. But it got a buff. Good. Good. Anyways, and then next. Shot hasn't had any change. But let's see. Focus. I think that's one of the moves. I haven't gone to focus or air steps yet. So for those, man, I should explore Berserker or like, yeah, just Berserker in general more, but, um, drain energy at exact same rate as, oh, basically like technically a little bit of nerf. So you get like more passive drain for like a aura, I guess, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure, but basically like a nerf. And more options. It's like more like a rework actually. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> and then here comes weapon. Well, I'm more familiar with the weapons because they're mainly using weapons in magic mostly. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shankies are getting <laughs> flushed down the you know toilet. <laughs> That's how it feels like sometimes. But yeah, um the Trident from King applies charted now so it's like um uh, it's like a sunken sword but except for charted so if you're a fire conjurer look out you're about to you know apply petrify because charted and fire equals petrify i'm pretty sure and fire and was it fire and ash that apply petrify guys it could be both but anyways you can apply petrify easier so basically it's good and Vindicator got go went from 120 requirement to 80 requirement for crushing judgment, I guess. Oh wait, no, just in general level requirement got reduced, I think. So you can use most of the moves at 160 points for your weapons, just like Axe Slash and Pulsar. So okay, technically buff, yeah. More hammer user out there, you know, in the future. Let's go. <laughs> And then Dagger got a little bit buff. Dagger throw didn't get buff. Hitbox got increased. And attack speed scale less. Yeah, the Spiraling fur Fury. Yeah, I won't say Furry, but you just do a spin. Like, a, it's like a spin that's neither horizontal or vertical. So it just makes you spin forward. <laughs> yeah, it's a really weird hitbox. So, yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, it was like a drill, but Claws hasn't been changed yet, but not a lot of people have been using Claw maybe. I know the Primo Sweep, I mean, Beast Instinct is pretty popular, right? I like it personally at least. And Blade, it, the AoE for Whirlwind didn't get changed yet. Oh, Rising Tide, okay, that's like the grab move, I'm pretty sure. No, Rising Tide is not the grab move, it's the AoE move for Sunken Soar. You just have more height, I guess. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a double jump now. <laughs> um, Tiger Rush got reduced knockback for the combo. That's like the rush move for Sunken Sword, you know, or some sword moves, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't use it because, well, it's bad, <laughs> or I think it's bad at least. Axis, let's see. It hasn't been changed yet, so we're waiting on that, I guess. There's a lot of things being changed. But dual blade, uh oh, the mirrored river, oh no, it's getting changed. More star up time, less horizontal hitbox, which means you know left and right hitbox is reduced. So yay, <laughs> and distance got increased. So it means the you know front and back hitbox got increased. So I guess it's more like a sniping tool now. Um, okay, I mean fair enough. People can just dodge to the sign up, basically. That's what it means. Um, and then... Yeah, it's intended to match the visual, which is fair. And then put similar... Let's see. Put similar skill like Flash Strike. Oh, nice. And East... Ugh! Ethereal Strike, I think? I don't know. On cooldown for half the time. Okay, so basically you can spam those Flash Strike and uh, ethereal flash more basically so it's a buff 
Nice, nice, nice. Like, I read some of them before, so I could probably know what's gonna be changed on top of my head, but the number might be changed, though, right? So, as you're watching this video, this might not apply, so if you're interested, feel free to like. But Postar's definitely getting nerfed. <laughs> But yeah, if, if you wanna read this, definitely check out the link in the description. So, yeah. Katana, Flash Strike, ooh, okay. Horizontal Hitbox got decreased, fair enough. This thing got increased, fair enough. I wouldn't say it's neither a buff nor a nerf. Because I mostly focus on the distance, so technically it's a buff for me. Like, I feel like it needs more distance anyway, so it's good. But yeah, same thing as Mirror the River from like Dozor. With katana, katana right now. So, um, Tempest for Heavy Blade got increased cooldown, which I think that's like the. I'm not sure, but that might be the range attack, right? Yeah, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Basically, the. Let's see, Great Sword in general got nerfed it on the little bit cooldown, probably. And cleavers, oh, the big axe and stuff, I think. It's a little bit weird. Uh, let's see, did it get buff? No, it got changed. It's knockback, it's now slow. And damage should do 70% blast damage. Yeah, I guess, like, it's weird. It gives the breeze damage and, like, AoE. I mean, it's probably pretty good because it does slow your enemy, right? So. Yeah, <laughs> and you can land your debris too. That might be pretty good. I don't use it personally, so I don't know how I feel about it. So, and then let's see. I think these are guns. Oh no, it's blunt weapons so like hammers. They haven't changed that yet. Pole arm, spears, right? Hasn't been changed. Staff, not yet. Shield hasn't been changed yet. But arrows. Oh, arrow got changed it too. Like. Yeah. So the arrows fall over a period of time now instead of all at once, so fair enough. Increase the left and right hitbox or horizontal hitbox. And oh, and end lag, so reduce end lag. So it's a buff. Nice. Um Storm Arrow also got a buff, basically. Um okay. I see as a buff, so I don't know. And quick draw got changed to like the hitbox. It would be like shockwave instead of like individual hitbox. Yeah, that's what I see it as. And then pistol got changed. Oh no. Multi shot. Oh, this has changed a little bit too. Multi shot is like a shockwave instead of straight line now. Uh oh. Like the hitbox basically got bigger in a nutshell. It would be like a cone. But the cone is facing towards you instead. Like the pointy part. Oh man, this is so weird. Oh, everything is about to be changed for like certain weapons. But basically, every gun hits box got changed. And rapid fire cooldown went down. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh, okay. Anyways. Gun build. Maybe potentially good. Oh shit. Here comes the stat changes. Um, there's nothing done for like... Power, defense, attack size, attack speed, or agility yet. But intensity is being changed. So cloud size is not going to be possible because intensity will just increase damage for like burning, right? Um, anything that burns. And I don't think knockback for wind will be changed. But yeah... More damage for the burning boys, you know? Just spam explosion and burn your enemy to death instead of going power. <laughs> I mean, that works. I think that would be maybe an uh, alternative build to like power builds and so. And bleeding is supposed to do more damage. And crystallize would also do more damage. Not sure how I feel about that. That might be really good for Soar, right? If that change. And ultimate heart kuna got changed. So no longer get. Gives you that, so I mean, the sign. I don't use ultimate art anyway, so yeah. Next weapon throw. Oh, yeah, like dagger throw or something. Size got increased. Yes, sir. Bullets, arrows got more hitbox. Yes, sir. 
blocking parry is being changed. Yeah, I don't know. Blocking is a little bit sus right now. Oh, parry is going to be 80% reduction? Oh my. I mean, I guess it's still being changed, but let's see. We're just going to wait a little bit and see how it goes. Allow running while blocking. Uh-oh. Dashing while blocking should cancel the block and initiate the dash. Right. Also, grant one second of 25% attack speed after pairing. Yeah, remember guys, this would be changed. I didn't see this yesterday. So, this is constantly being changed. So, we don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. Make sure to check on it often if you want, like, real-time news. Or I could probably check in and let you guys know in the YouTube community post section for, you know, my channel right now. But yeah. Air movement. Oh, air movement is like moving, like you using movement skill in mid air. So like, if you're teleporting with like a sword dash or something in mid air, it uses like a point of air movement. You're supposed to get two, right? Two points, so you can like teleport twice basically in mid air. Um, but that puts the movement skills or other movement skill on half cooldown. So you can't spam movement skill in mid-air. No, I can't jump infinitely anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Right? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, prevent it's to prevent spams. So fair enough. Oh, sunken helmet got buff. I don't think a lot of people have it, but I do have it, so I do want to read this. Buff by first fifty percent. I guess stat wise, right? To match other accessory. Was <laughs> forgotten. To be buffed. Oh man. Yeah, just like Sunken Sword. Lamau bad. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's good. Ooh, status. Dot damage, clouds, puddles, changes. Um, interesting. If a status has 5 seconds remaining, hitting someone with an attack that inflicts said dot, like burning, right? We'll add two seconds to the timer, so I guess you can add more instead of like resetting the burn timer and it cannot be increased above five seconds. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So if you have like one second of burn, you hit, if you hit them again, it will do like add two more seconds, right? And so on, you know, until like it reaches five seconds, which is the cap. Um. Self synergy plus five percent should be removed as a result. Yeah, certain element like com works with bleed damage to do more damage, right? I guess that's kind of being removed because status is technically getting buff a little bit for you know the dot damage. Good old burning, yeah, and melting and whatever. Anyways, I, oh, formula is being increased. I mean, being changed, I guess, somehow, maybe. Dot damage would no longer be based on damage out, instead, the total of the dot would follow formula. Um, level plus 19 x dot damage in percent. Yeah, masked up, guys. I, I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Oh, I think that's it, guys. The video is like, oh no, there are changes to effects too. Well, we gotta go on, but. Anyways, let's keep going. But I think it's fine. Like, I think it's a buff, honestly, for like status effect if you want to just focus on burning your enemy. So, yeah. And um, corroding reduce effectiveness of damage reduction effect by 25%. Example block and parry with reduced damage by 45 of 60% and so 60 out of 80% I guess that's above <laughs> I mean okay I mean I don't really get crowed much but oh corroding what ice would apply frozen interesting corroding with snow and water is 20% more damage and with magma for is it went from 10% to 20%, so if you're acid magma user, oh, you're about to have some good time. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh my. 
soaked it, got changed, applied, scaled it. One hit by hate magic. Uh oh, new effects. Here we go. Here we go. Soaked it with magma, applies petrify, obsidian color. Ooh, that's sick, bro. That's sick. Water mag, water magma user. Where you at? <laughs> or water sunken sword and magma user. Where you at? <laughs> Conjure magma. Hello. Let's go. Uh oh, wind no longer freeze. It seems like, but it does more damage. Like so, water and wind. It will. Do more damage and applies frostbite. I'm not sure what frostbite means, but it doesn't really, have, you know, say much. So, but basically more damage. All right, whatever. <laughs> Rest in peace if you're ice user. <laughs> and bleeding. Let's see. Bleeding makes fire do more damage. Oh wow, 20% now instead of 10. And with water. Sand, Explosion, Ash, Lightning Okay, I mean if you're like a Conjure, this would be pretty good Everything got buffed basically 10% to 15% for Water, Sand, Explosion, Ash, and Lightning Okay Frozen, applied by Ice When it's 30, oh So if you do 33% of someone's max health, you freeze them with Ice basically Okay Um, And if you hit someone Frozen with earth, metal, lightning, crystal, it does 30% damage instead of 20 now, and you get freeze for one second instead now. Same with petrify. Good, good, good. Cause I'm like the CC is like barely any time. I'm like, like intensity doesn't even increase it either. So, you know, fair enough. Whatever. <laughs> you know, balancing. Scorched it is okay. More damage for scorched it. Okay, by 30%. Increase right, and then if you add acid, lightning, wind, explosion, ash, you do five percent. Basically, like there's a lot of buffs and poison duration. I assume that's the cloud, right? It goes from twenty to fifteen seconds now. It doesn't say what duration for poison it is, unless it means like, oh wait, it's the status effect, right? My bad. So I guess you get burn. I mean, you get poison for fifteen seconds now. Instead of 20? That's a long time though. I'm not sure, but okay, fair enough. Sandy. And if you sand and win, we'll do 20% now. What the hell? That's kind of wild, but. <laughs> Alright, I mean, instead of doing less damage, you do more now. Makes sense, I guess, in a way. Um, Crystallize is still being changed. It looks complicated right now. But it's no longer cleared by any magic. Instead, they will shatter when it's ready. Damn. And if you use Earth, Lightning, Metal, Explosion, it would do 10% or 15% more damage from before. Basically, it went from 20% to 30, 35%. Wow. I think I'm like, I'm gonna try Crystal more now, because Crystal does seem pretty good. So. Try and Petrify didn't get changed yet. Okay. And Awakening removed 10% damage buff from all pure builds except Berserker. <laughs> Berserker buff, let's go. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, Jigana, Weapon Aura. See changes later. Okay, whatever. Um, Warlock, well, Thermal is in. Yeah, okay, Thermal buff. I just want to like skip a little bit because I don't want to make the video too long, guys. Conjure had the effectiveness of size, right? So you get less size for magic, you know, or for attack size. And then multiply on magic damage by 1.1. Basically, we get more damage, you know, for like our magic Im imbuement. So that's nice. Mm. But yeah. Fire got buffed a little bit in terms of damage, so good for you, fire user. <laughs> yeah, fire conjure. I do have a fire conjure too. That's like my Escanor build. And Earth got buffed, it will do 0.1% more. Well, one point, it went from 1x to 1.1x now, so that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. That's like 10% damage increase, basically. So, wow. 
applies bleed synergy immediately. Might be a bug. Might be bugged. Okay. So does that mean we can do like three effects at the same time if we imbued like sunken water, right? Sunken has water effect. And with ice, right, you can get bleed. Okay, this might be complicated because you can literally put three effect if you can apply bleed too, right? And ice and bleed does like, what, 40% more damage right now? But I don't know if it's going to get changed, so I don't know. Seems good. Um, but yeah, Berserker should gain more heat for thermal. Yeah, there's a lot of thermal changes. Bas basically, you use less heat. Oh, no, basically, you don't lose as much heat. <laughs> but yeah. And then Warlord imbued. Oh, Warlord imbued fighting style? Oh, it's for cannon fist. So you throw out cannons while you do weapon slide. I, I want to try that, actually. Throwing cannon fist while using your weapon. Let's go. <laughs> Warlord build? Where you guys at? <laughs> and then Warrior. Warrior aura, weapon aura, right? Got reduced in size, we got buff in damage and speed. Went from 33% size to 10%. So, hold on. Anyways, I'm back guys. So, weapon aura size got decreased from 33 to 10%. <laughs> um, speed got increased to 10%, damage got increased to 10 Basically, that 33% got distributed into size, speed, and damage. So, I mean, fair enough. Rebalance, basically. It's neither a nerf or buff. Wow. So amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's see. Since Weapon Aura only grants stats visual change rather than actual content, Weapon Aura would grant the following. Sharp Weapon. Okay, so like, sore or something. Non-bleeding. Oh, non-bleeding. Okay. <laughs> there we get bleeding. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip out, bro. <laughs> This is non bleeding? What do you mean? <laughs> they would get bleeding as an additional status. Example sunken. Okay, so like magic weapon, kinda. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what, what? Okay, this is so weird. Non bleeding and they would get bleeding? I'm I'm flipping out, bro. I'm reading like literally Arcane Odyssey stu lore right now. Story, you know. <laughs> Sharp weapon bleeding. Now. Stats replaced the bleed with gouged. Oh, that word is so you know, like that's the feeling. This would deal 35. Oh my god, 35 percent is that 25 percent more and cannot be cleared. Jesus, okay, that's huge, man. All right, conjure, where are you guys at? <laughs> I mean, weapon. Wait, no, this is not for conjure, but it's for warrior, right? Because you know, the weapon aura will apply gouge. So, alright, gonna make a web warrior file soon. Not sure who I should make though, but we'll see. Blood weapon instead of bleeding, inflict bruised, causing target to receive 10% more damage and last for 5 seconds. I like this change. Weapon, war weapon warrior user, get on it <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then below is experimental ideas, so I think I'll leave that to you guys, right? Because there's like a lot of reworking, like these will probably definitely get changed or not even apply. So I think reading them will be very confusing. So I'll leave you guys to it. Link in the description if you want to read it. Video is too long right now. <laughs>